right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Low Country Fishing. If you're new here, my name is Dan and welcome to my channel, you guys. So today I'm gonna to be fishing inshore over here in coastal Georgia. I'm just on the outskirts of Savannah right now. And realistically, all I wanna do is just catch a bunch of redfish. Now I'm out here on my buddy's Sundance FX-17, commonly known as the Flicker. This is a shallow water redfish stalking machine. It's got a six inch draft and it's gonna get me in some really, really skinny waters hopefully to where I can find some redfish pushing around and uh, be able to make a nice little cast to them. Now I am gonna be throwing a lot of light style gear. I will talk about that here in just a few minutes once I do get the video running and I catch some fish. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna kind of position myself around places that make sense to me as far as where to find these redfish. So let's get started. Some reds in there feeding on that bait. Shocker. Oh, it is a pretty one. Every time I watch other people's YouTube channels, they say, Oh, look, that's such a pretty fish. <laughs> that's code word for small fish. <laughs> I mean, this isn't a, a monster by any means, it is a slot red. But man, look at look at the color on that tail. Holy cow, shrimp eater. Gorgeous fish right there, 14 or so. There's three redfish. Almost, honestly, I've only been fishing for probably 30 minutes. I just pulled into this new spot and I had the mindset of trying for some flounder up there real shallow, but this school of bait really grabbed my attention. And I'm glad it did because it had fish in it. Let's get this back fixed. Get that back out. And get back in. Oh, there's a redfish right there. Oh, she saw me. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> that was a big one. That was mid-20s right there. Dang, boom. See the dust plumes? Bang, one there. Bang, one there. Uh, well, maybe they're coming out of this creek late now. Dadgummit. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna creep off this flat. It's getting a little bit shallow. Saw a nice big redfish. Was able to pull, honestly, three off of this little area over here. Not sure how much that footage I'm gonna show. They were all pretty much the same size. But I'm gonna work the outside edge on my way out just a little bit, maybe see if I can find a flounder sitting up against these oysters here. I might work that way just the same, but it's pretty shallow here. And I got a shallow water area that I'm really wanting to fish more than this spot here. It's very hard to leave feeding fish to go look for new fish. But with the, uh, the rules that I set on myself today, that's what's gonna to have to happen. And this is a gigantic school of mullet. Holy cow, these are all like three inch mullet in here. Dang, that's a lot. You guys can't see any of that, unfortunately. But holy cow, there's a couple thousand there, easy. And I'm not seeing any predator fish with them too, so they're, uh, they're lucky. Oh, they're over here on the edges too. Let's work these edges. Let's see if we can find Big Mama Cruz and Man, immediately. Oh, she let it go. <laughs> she let it go. Dang. This area is loaded with little reds. Yeah. That's not a big deal though. Tell me that's my trout. Be my trout. Man, just a, another fired up red. <laughs> Golly, man. Redfish number six. I'm just gonna work this mud break here, see if I can find a... 
<laughs> she was right on that uh, on that mud line, just like I was talking about. Hey, look, it's another cute fish. I'm about to move on. I'm ready to get out of the nursery. This is redfish number eight. Just a little under slot. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, buddy, I know you're out here with uh, a couple friends, and if you're looking for redfish, they are out here at that little pin that I just sent you. Got a total of nine so far and saw one big mid-20 kind of dusting around. So just fish that pin that I sent roughly uh, about 10 feet or so off the edge of the oysters and you guys should do pretty good. Oh, somebody nailed that. Got it right here. She got it? Got her. What are you? Oh, nice red. <laughs> there we go. There's a good slot red. All right, pretty girl. Finally, a nice red. You were the one that was over here blowing up all this bait, huh? Get out front of the boat. Yes, sir. You, my friend, might be at the top of that slot. All right, well, here we go, guys. Beautiful redfish, 22 inches. That is almost the top of our slot over here in, the, uh, in, in Georgia, in the low country. 23 is the top of our number here, but man, this is such a beautiful, beautiful fish. And you know what? I could eat her. She'd make for some delicious redfish uh, nuggets, but you know what? We're gonna let them go back. I just enjoy catching them more than I do eating them. That might be my flounder. Is that my flounder? No. <laughs> That is not my flounder. That is an oyster fish. <laughs> the unedible kind. Mm. All right, well, it's good to see the redfish are turning out today. I've boated probably 12 so far, to be honest. It's been a very productive morning. I've only been out there, there's another one. Oh, they're hitting right there like crazy. Oh, she back, nope. I've only been out here for maybe, maybe two hours total. Took me a minute to get the, uh, fuel in the boat this morning and get all my gear together. I did throw the cast net and grab some live bait as an option for later. And uh, I just hit the water and within two hours, it's, it's, it's been a really good bite. Man, I really got him. I really want this to be a flounder, not another little small red schoolie. It is another little schoolie. <clears throat> all right, so that is a pocket of them down there. And these guys, they are right on the edge of being legal. <laughs> And I don't mind catching them. They're fun. Ow! They're slippery. Try not to squeeze the, the life out of this little guy. There we go. There's another one. Nice little double spotter. <laughs> they are fired up. They're really enjoying the 79 degree water temp, I can tell you that. That's uh, going to be one of the really big changes we have come up, coming up here very soon with our fall trend setting in. And also, if you guys are interested in what a fall trend is or what really the, the the current fishing trend that we're on uh you guys i talk about all that stuff on patreon what patreon is is basically high level coaching it's a paid by month subscription based uh class type system that i offer and i put out all kinds of content everything from oh got him again everything from helpful tips videos to uh bait reports to trip reports i talk about how to fish specific spots I even show spots like this, like, hey, here's exactly what I did. Here was a tide. This was what was working because although I do talk about a lot of stuff on YouTube, I don't talk about everything. I do leave some stuff out and I do that for a reason because I do have guys on Patreon that are paying and are interested in that information and I keep a lot of the really good stuff for them. So 
I'm telling you, if you, if you like the stuff I do here, the creation content, the little bit of coaching and, and kind of the talking points that I give on YouTube, I'm telling you guys, come on over to Patreon. You're going to love it. Right now, I have about 130 dudes on there that are getting better every day. And I have guys of all, uh, all skill levels, too. I got guys that are beginners that just bought a boat. They're tied into the Freedom Boat Club. They just came down here and, you know, spent $5,000 on a John boat, and they just want to know where to go and catch fish. Also, I have guys that have been fishing this area for 20 and 30 years, and it humbles me to know that I have those guys' ears, and they just want to know what's going on with the recent trends. They're not out on the water as often as they want to be, and they just want to stay up on what's current, and I provide all of that on Patreon. So if that sounds like something you're interested, definitely check it out. I'll put it in the uh, description, the link in the description of the video down below, and uh, you guys can head on over there and, and check it out. But it is, uh, it's good stuff, man. I wish something like that was around when I started fishing. Another one. <clears throat> Another one. Golly, how many are down there? Jeez. All right. <laughs> I was hoping I could pull Mama out of there, but I just keep getting the, all of her little churring. <laughs> all these little guys. Now, this one would actually keep. This is a... Uh, stop, 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 stop. This one right here is 14 inches. Uh, maybe 13. Right at it. Something like that. Still too small to kill, to be honest. If you're going to eat them, let them get up to be about 16 inches or so. That's a good size. I'm going to keep digging through. I'll pull two or three out, out of this school at the most before I move on, but I'm, I'm really hoping Mama's down there. Man, there is something about that little spot. There's another bite. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. You talk about a fun fight, man. You did this on a on a medium heavy rod. It it, it would just wouldn't be that fun. This little medium light is really enjoyable. Let's calm down. Boy, if I <laughs> Golly. absolutely fired up. All right, one more out of that school, and I'm moving on. I just want to find Mama. All right. <laughs> That's the last one. That's the last one, buddy. I'll leave you and your little friends here alone. You're over here muddying up my camera. Wicky, wicky, wicky. There we go. Another little carbon copy. All right, fellas, well, that's going to be it for today. It's 2 o'clock. The wind just picked up, and it's getting a little bit sporty out here for the flicker. But you know what? I had a good time. I set out with the goal of catching redfish today, and I achieved that goal. I wound up boating over 25 reds today and one little patty cake flounder. Uh, it's just one of those days where you just go out and you set goals and you achieve goals. And uh, days like that, I honestly can't complain. Not to mention, I caught every single one of those fish on an artificial piece of plastic. So I got to trick some fish and uh, that just honestly makes me smile. So thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got a little value out of the content that I put out for today. If you did, don't forget, hit that thumbs up on your way out. And you guys, I'll see you next week. Take care everyone and God bless.